Last year I made a video on the top five revision techniques and three of them are easy to do. You just need an app, something like Tassamai, which will do self-quizzing for you and you can hit spaced interleave retrieval practice really easily. But it's the other two which are a bit more complicated. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you how to do one of the most important revision techniques for the highest grades, which is self explanation. Thanks so much to Tasmai for sponsoring this revision tip video. Tasmai is a quizzing app which is based on the best evidence of how people learn. It's used in schools and by private subscribers. Tasmai hits three of the top five revision strategies, and those are essential things to do to build your recall for those exams. Tasmai is the scientific way to learn, and as a head of science, that really appeals to me. So go ahead and check out the links in the description or in the pinned comment or go to tassamai.com to find out more. So really this could be termed as how to use worked examples because they are the key to allowing you to do self-explanation when you're just learning a topic or if it's a topic that you've learned and you need to build up your confidence with. There is a kind of mantra about learning a new thing which is see one, do one and then teach one and that's a really old and common saying for a reason. It's about getting the most out of your teacher modelling examples in the classroom. After they model one then you need to have a go yourself but to absolutely maximise your learning then you should be trying to teach somebody else exactly how to do that. For example, you could do a set of questions in advance of a lesson and then in that lesson you could be teaching your peers how to do those questions. You see, it's the teaching another person that you'll find the most useful. And I have an example of a young man in my class who actually has started doing this every single lesson. And in a way as a teacher you think to yourself, oh no, he's already done the questions. But he's getting stronger and stronger as a student and showing that in exam papers because in the lessons, he's actually helping another one of the students work through those worked examples. And of course, it doesn't have to be somebody in your class or one of your friends, just anybody at all. Try teaching your mum and dad, just show your mum and dad how to go through those questions and you'll get stronger at doing the questions on your own later. I'd also recommend if you can, if you have friends that you can be sensible and study with to set up a study group. And here's the best way to use that study group time is to actually prepare things in advance. So say to your friends, well, you go ahead and prepare uh, that topic, do those practice questions, I'll go through and work on these practice questions and then you can explain those to me and I'll explain those to you. And what you're doing then is you're actually maximizing that time, making yourselves really useful, you cover more content that way and you both get that experience of actually teaching somebody else using that self-explanation technique. Remember, the evidence recommends that actually by taking yourself through, by having to explain how to work through a problem out loud, that is a very, very useful way to deeply internalize that skill. But here's another question. Well, how do you actually know what to revise ready for those exams? And where to start can be a bit of a barrier for a lot of students. You know, the sheer amount of content can seem so vast. I'm filming this in 2022 where there has been some advanced information, so it's narrowed it down a little Bit, but there's still a lot of content to actually go through. Let me know if you'd like a dedicated video on how to identify your weaker areas so you can work on them. And what about when your teacher isn't there to model? What about you're revising on your own? Where are you going to find those worked examples? How are you going to get that modeling so you know how to tackle a question so that then you can go through and explain it to yourself? Most textbooks actually have worked examples within the body of the text and they are the most useful. They're really clear boxes. They say worked example at the top often labelled step one, step two and step three. Work through those yourself. Or of course, you have exam practice videos and I have loads on my channel where I actually talk through how to tackle certain questions. And the idea would be not just to watch that, but to watch it and then pause it and explain your way through it. And then to tackle some similar practice questions yourself. And don't just watch them, do one afterwards and then go ahead and teach one afterwards as well. So right after this video, what I want you to do is to go to your textbook, find a priority area, find a worked example and talk yourself through that do a practice question on that same page on that similar topic and then go ahead the next day or the next time you see a friend and actually talk them through how to do that practice question yourself. You will find that an incredibly useful way to learn, I promise. So thanks again to Tassamai for sponsoring this video. One of the key features of Tassamai is the tree and the tree grows as you study the course, as you work through the Tassamai content. And you can see on that tree, the greener leaves are your stronger questions and the orange or red leaves are your weaker ones. This will help you identify your key priority areas so you can target them with focused revision techniques like self-explanation. Tassamai has courses for all the major exam boards in GCSE Sciences, English Literature and Maths. And we know that if you get your daily goals on Tassamai, you'll cover all the key content and you'll memorize it ready for those exams. Find the link in the description to find out more.
All the different parts of the revision cycle are important for different reasons. Spaced interleave retrieval practice should just become a habit and it's a must, you absolutely must do this. In the next video, I'm gonna cover another one of the top five, which is elaborative interrogation. So stay tuned for that. But in the meanwhile, if you want to know more about those top five revision techniques, and I strongly recommend that you don't miss this video, don't ignore this one, because this is gonna make you a stronger student so you get your best grades in those exams. Thanks for watching.